Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this video we will learn how to create the buttons on our left menu. Let's start by creating a new file. And call it left menu btn. Let's open the toggle menu that we created in the previous video and copy all its code and put it in the file we just created. Let's change the default display with width to 250 and height to 40. Change the width of the button to 250, and we will also change the ID name and paste in the specific fields below. Create the source size width object and set its value to 18 and the same value for sow size height. Let's create the width and height properties that will be of the integer type that will contain the value 18 for width and height. Now with these properties created we will paste in the following fields of width and height of our image. We will change the positioning of our image with the vertical position centered and with the left anchor with the value 26. See that the anchoring options were created within our image. Now for our image to appear we need to put our color overlay on top of our image for that we will use anchoring based on our image above. and also use our same width and height property that we used in the previous image. Let's activate anti-aliasing for the color overlay and also for our image. Set the viewing height to 60 and we'll also add an anchor for content to fill. That done, it's time to create the text for our button. Let's color this text to white and use the same text and font properties as the main button. See that no text was shown, for this we need to put a standard definition text, once this is done the text will appear normally. Let's put the left anchor of this text with a value of 75. Once this is done the text will move away from the border 
and will not be displayed when the menu is retracted. Setting other values we can see how this positioning works. It's time to create the highlight for the menu that is currently active, it will apply a blue border on the left and a dark border on the right. Create a rectangle with the same color and width anchors shown in the video. Don't forget to create a visibility field and put it as true. We can now see the red border on the left side of the button. We are going to change the color of this border from red to blue using our color picker and create a new property for this color. After that replace the color of the rectangle with the property created. Let's create a boolean property for the visibility of the rectangle. See that if we change this property to false our rectangle will disappear. Now we will repeat the process of creating the highlight with a dark color for the right side of our button. Set the width of this rectangle to the value 5. To use the same color as the content of our application, just open our main QML file. Use our color selector and copy the color we want, after that we paste in the rectangle. But first we will create a new property just as we created for the previous rectangle. This done we will apply this button that we just created to our main QML file replacing the existing button. See that the dark right border of the button is not showing, to solve this just put a dynamic width for our button following the width of the left menu. Click on the button, go to the size property, and in set binding choose our left menu and its width property.
Done that we see that our button is working, we can run in our application to see how it will look. Put other width values in the left menu to see how it will work. The button is ready. Now just copy the home button two times inside the column of the left side menu and change its icon and text as shown in the video. Go to the left menu, and in these active properties set it to false. Then in main QML mark only the home menu as is active true. When running our application we see that only the home button is active. Now let's create our last button which will be the settings button, it will be a little bit different as I will show in the video. Copy some of the buttons that we created paste in the left menu. Not inside the column as we did previously with the other buttons. Done this activate the bottom anchoring and set the value to 25. This done activate the bottom anchoring and set the value to 25 and see that our menu is now positioned at the bottom. See that the save text for the button is escaping from our left menu, to solve this just activate the clip function. Now our video is over. To finish just put some other width values in left menu and test to see how our buttons look. In the next video I'll teach you how to create the expand and collapse function on the left side menu. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. See you in the next video. Thanks to all Patreon supporters.